Hey guys, welcome back to another Write With Me video. This week I am taking the writing outside. The temperature finally changed. There's no humidity in the air and that was because of Hurricane Ian that passed through our city as most of you probably know. So because of that, the day was really, really beautiful. It wasn't hot at all and I wanted to go outside and just write for a little while to see how much progress I could make on my Christmas novel and yeah that's what we're doing right now. Last week's video I was outlining my novel using index cards using the Save the Cat Writes a Novel 15 beat sheet and I really get a lot of clarity on my novel and sorry if you hear a little shuffling I am actually looking at my journal as I am recording this because I wanted to give you a few of the questions that I answered during my outlining last week that actually helped me get even more clear on my novel and that's helped me actually write more and just be really on top of my story. So the first thing that I asked myself or rather the first question that is asked in Save the Cat that you should probably answer before you get to the 15 beats are the following. First is who is your hero of the story? It's really important to understand who your hero is because you are going to be answering questions regarding your hero. Question number two is what is their big problem or flaw? This is important to know because it's going to help you write all the things in the first act that contribute to this problem. Question number three is, how is this problem affecting your hero's life? Again, this is information that you're going to need because it will help you write all the things that you need to build your first act. Question number four is, what is causing this problem or flaw? This is also important to understand because obviously you don't have a story if you don't know what is causing the problem. How are you going to build your story if you can't put all these different obstacles in their way? Question number five is at the start of the novel, what does your hero want? What is their goal? This is where you're going to put the wrong goal. Your character at the start of the novel is going to think they want something that it's going to fix their entire life but that you know that is completely wrong to want that or it's completely wrong the wrong thing that will fix them question number six is how has your hero been actively pursuing this goal for example in my novel choose us this is the wrong goal I gave my character she wants to just get over the guy that she's head over heels over that she loves that is her main goal at the start of the novel how is she actively pursuing this goal? Well, she's been going on a ton of dates just trying to get over him. Now, that is not the right way to get over someone. What she really needs is something completely different, but you'll have to read the novel to know what that is. Question number seven is why haven't they achieved this goal? For example, in Choose Us, my character is going on a ton of dates trying to get over the uh, guy that she's ultimately in love with. But the truth is that no amount of dating is actually going to help her forget or fall out of love with the guy that she truly loves. There's another way, a better way. There's a solution to this problem that my character is actually not aware of yet. And the final question is, what does your hero actually need? This is where you're going to be really, really intentional with your writing. You're going to be really clear as to what is it that is actually going to help your character fix her problem that you created at the beginning of the novel. Now remember, all these questions will help you create your theme for your novel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, not only did I mention it last week on my outlining with index cards video, but as you probably already know, I have an entire play playlist on Save the Cat writes a novel where I go into every single beat and how you go about creating the theme and what exactly it is to have a theme in your novel. I go into how to create the opening image and how to do the setup and how to go into act two and then ultimately into act three. So just understanding all these questions or answering all these questions about your hero helps you really create a rich story. A story that not only 
only will you enjoy writing and it will be easier to write, but that your readers will really be invested in. So like my other two books, Between Us and Choose Us, this new Christmas book that I'm writing, I'm also writing in dual narratives. So I answered these questions for both of my characters because they are both pretty important in the story. Obviously, if I'm going to be flipping back and forth between the two narratives, it's important for me to create a rich story for both characters, not just my female character, but also my male character. So keep that in mind. If you are writing dual narratives, make sure you answer these questions for both characters. So I want to talk for a minute about backstories. So you will have an understanding of your character's backstory when you start figuring out your initial story. But when we're talking about a B storyline, then I also encourage you to create a backstory for that. For instance, I created a subplot for both my female character and my male character. I created a subplot problem with other characters in the book, but I really wanted to understand what is this tension about? What are they disagreeing about? What? Where is this coming from? So I also went ahead and created a backstory for that problem just to make the writing a little bit easier when I am approaching that subplot. Before we get to writing, I wanted to let you know that my book, Between Us, is actually free on Kindle right now. So if you are wanting to download it, make sure you do it today because it's the last day and it's the first time it's been free since I published it two years ago. So I don't know if it's ever going to happen again or when it's going to happen. So if you've been wanting to read it, this is your time. So now that you've answered those questions, let's get to writing. I'm going to be a little quiet so you guys can enjoy the music and you can write with me if you so choose to. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in a brand new video next week. Until then, God bless you.